COVID-19 was probably a person who suffers from death anxieties worst nightmare uh, other than death itself because it bring, brought it to your door. A serious fear of dying has always haunted Billy, but during lockdown, his anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorder has been harder to handle. So you get the thudding chest, you feel like you're gonna have a heart attack, which convolutes everything because it's like, well, a heart attack's gonna kill me. Oh, I can't have a heart attack. So you end up getting into a revolving door of, of panic. Billy has his partner Lee to help him through it, but he feels the government don't take mental health seriously enough. They were stretched beyond belief prior to COVID-19 and it just terrifies me now to think that um, this is going to be amplified um, and the funding was already inadequate at the time. So I think it's just vital that it's increased, incre increased substantially. The Government Department for Health and Social Care have told us that they're still learning about the impact that the pandemic is having on both our physical and our mental health. They say they've invested £5 million in mental health services since lockdown started. We know in Yorkshire and Humber that two thirds of people have reported uh, that their mental health has suffered as a result of lockdown. So yeah, we are anticipating an increase in demand for our services. And mental health is chronically underfunded. There just simply isn't enough support to be able to meet the needs at the moment, let alone post lockdown. I think it's important to sort of publicly ask the government and my way of doing that was to write to my MP and copy in the media to say, well, look, ask this question because I want to know. And I'm sure thousands of other people in Yorkshire and millions across the country, I want to know how you're going to fund it, what you're going to do. Billy hopes this issue will be raised in Parliament as a priority. Hannah Gray, BBC Look North.